Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so I need to, um, I will eventually get to the first crusade, which this would probably be like one or s maybe one video before the first crusade I'll get into, which I, again, I'm not covering the entirety of all these historical events. Um, the history is very well documented. Um, a lot of folks know about it. Um, and uh, I don't want to have any one video be super long um, and to take away from whatever uh, time folks, folks, folks have for uh, the, watching this video. So, uh, we're here, right? I was telling this story in the RTF chat room. Well, I just told a part of it. I didn't tell the, the full story. But to pay it off, because this story is actually important um, to the, the over history of the world and the Muslim Empire. So, uh, in 1066, Byzantine Empire, the leader of the Byzantine Empire is Constantine the 10th. His wife's name is Edokia. Uh, and then the Seljuk Turks are led by Alp Arslan, which I believe Alp Arslan, uh, I believe the anime uh, Arslan is based upon him, even though the anime is trash. Anyway, this, that's the Seljuk story. So, uh, Byzantine Empire, Constantine the 10th, yes, so here he is. And this is why Fidokia. Okay, cool. Look at that. This game, historically accurate. So, he, right, will eventually get old and sick, right? And so on his deathbed, he um, tells his wife, you are uh, forbidden to marry anyone else after me. So after I pass away, you cannot marry anyone else ever again. Which, so I was like, yeah, this, this is kind of, <laughs> what, what in the Jemaah is this? Anyway, so she's not allowed to marry anyone ever again. Um, and she is to be a regent in charge until their son, which I believe he, pa he passes away. I believe their youngest son was, was I, I think it was him. I don't remember. It was, it was after him and him. I'm pretty, pretty sure he was, he passed away because he would have been, been old enough. Anyway, um, so, Edokia is to be in charge of the Byzantine Empire. And she's not to remarry ever again. And uh, she'll be uh, in charge until their son, uh, or I guess regent, I guess, technically is what they said. She'll be regent, which is basically in charge of the empire until her son uh, is old enough and ready to lead. Okay. So, uh, she promises that she then gets in charge, uh, but the Muslims, the Seljuk Turks, uh, under the rule of Alp Arslan, which is look at that, he's, he's right here. Look at look at this, yo, this game. Shout out, shout out to say everything straight. Anyway, so he, like all great Muslim leaders would do, um, finds out the Byzantine Empire is ruled by a lady. So what do the Byzantine team? I mean, what do the Seljuks do? Immediately go go on the attack. But, um, the Seljuks were not attacking the Byzantine Empire for, like, Constantinople or to take over the Empire. Their goal was the Fatimids. They wanted to get to the Fatimid, uh, which, I mean, obviously, they, they border. But they had to get, um, this important colony, which is Antioch, or Antioch, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this, was, this was important for them to get. Um, you'll see that Antioch, which, this, this is, like, the most pivotal piece in, in like, the entire First Crusades. Um, you, you could argue. So, all that was important. So, the Seljuks really wanted to get that, that a piece of land, right? So, uh, the Byzantine Empire, right? Uh, Yudoki is now in charge. And she she understands, like, okay, the severity of what's going on. There's a whole, there's a whole giant Muslim army. And the, the Turks were known for, like, fighting. It, it, it's like, they're known as the, these vicious warriors that just, because obviously they, they, look at how big they are. Uh, and they haven't even been around for that long. So, the Seljuks are like just, just known far and wide, right? Um, and they are, um, <laughs> they're like, okay, well, uh, yeah, we're just gonna come in here, take over these lands right here, um, and that's just gonna be the end of it. You have anything to say about what's going on here? Uh, so Edokia, right? There was this prisoner, right? It was this prisoner named uh, Romanos the Fourth. And he was imprisoned. Some say, some reports say that he was imprisoned because Edokia and him had a past. And Constantine Temple was like, yeah, nah, I can't be having this dude around. I'm um, just fully and And he and my wife have a past. So he got imprisoned. Others say it's because he was like uh, a criminal. But anyway, Miles the Tenth is known as this um, genius strategist, war like leader type of dude, right? Um, so Edokia comes to him in prison. And Romanos is about to be like just killed. He's about to be executed. 
Uh, I believe he was going to be beheaded or hung. One of two. And she, she comes to him with, obviously, an uh, offer he couldn't refuse. The offer was, you get to marry me, right? So you marry me, Edokia, the empress of the Byzantine Empire. You then become emperor. You are freed. Um, and you can go to war. And you fight off the Seljuks. And if you beat the Seljuks, then, you know, you, you are crowned in Eastern glory history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but someone was, was mad at her and, and him, uh, uh, Romanos furthest, which is his brother. His brother, obviously, was like, listen, uh, I should be king, if anything. I don't know, like, how y'all let this, this lady be in charge over me and to have this criminal in, uh, in charge over me as well. But no, nah, I should be in charge. But despite that, Romanos was like, yeah, I don't care. I have a, a whole war to fight. Um, and so Romanos will rally up the troops he'll he'll go and try to gather support and they'll try to go and fight the Seljuks and the Seljuks again so you see like their 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 goal was to get these minor lands um and then go to Antoch uh and take over the um take over the the, the Baron of Antoch I guess uh so that way they can go and get to the Seljuk Turks um and what happens after that is <laughs> It would lead into the Battle of Manticore, right? So, Romanos, he is fighting up Arslan. He has this giant army, right? Um, because they're able to garner support from other Euro European tribes, which, when I get to the First Crusades, which, again, the video won't be super long, uh, I'll just cover, like, really probably the Siege of Antioch, and then, like, just my thoughts on how the Muslims could have won. Um, <laughs> which is uh, funny because they always say, you know, R2F, all you guys do is just, like, discredit stuff. And listen, um, that's not entirely true, but listen, I, I'm going to discredit some European accomplishments, all right? Like, the First Crusades, sure, they won, right? They won it, and it was a lot of miraculous feats. But again, the Muslims aren't even, aren't even like, united, bro. Like, if the Seljuks and Fatimids are united, it, it doesn't... Anyway, so, that's not the point. Uh, eventually, right, you'll get to... Um, plenty of the wars and the the battle that's most important right which which all stems from Constantine the 10th putting his wife in charge uh leads to the battle um what's the battle called I'm, I'm blanking anyway uh it leads to a battle that we have the the, the battle of Manticore. yeah sorry so it leads to the battle of Manticore, um which is in like 1071 ish um and this battle is important uh because is actually is actually insane. So Romanos thought that he had these allies in support of him, right? That were going to be there uh, on his side, and they were going to help him um, fight in th this war overall. But unfortunately, uh, unfortunately for him, uh, <laughs> that wasn't the case. Uh, he would see that they actually were not there for him when he needed them. Um, he thought that they were on his side. Some say it was some some miscommunication, but um. It just didn't it didn't work out the way he thought it was going to work out. Uh, some say the folks deserted him because they were on the side of the brother of Constantine the 10th. But Alano's best. Anyway, Romanos loses the battle to Alp Ar Ar Arslan um, and the Seljuk Turks. The Seljuks then say, listen, um, so you guys lost. Um, that means you guys are cooked. And yeah, we are taking control over these these territories right here and so they got this 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 antioch a few more um Alp Arslan also said that he uh he wanted 1.5 million gold which is a lot, a lot of money and he, has, he also had to get freaking um he had to get um he had to get uh his daughter yeah so he got all four all four of these like colonies i guess right and got 1.5 billion gold from the Byzantine Empire, as well as getting Romanos' daughter. So uh, that was the terms that he had to agree to, because obviously, like, I mean, I just beat your main army, uh, Byzantine. So like, you guys really want to go to war? I can go back to, I, I can, I can just charge ahead and just dominate y'all for forever. Uh, so that was the terms that they agreed upon, because again, the Southern Turks were not there for the Byzantine Empire. Their goal was the Fatimid Caliphate, uh, and they had to. They had plans of obviously trying to be not the Uma, but of course there had to be a war for that. Um, so 
hopefully this was like kind of informational obviously i can go more in depth into the whole like battle of magic hurt um but essentially uh, the byzantine empire probably would have won that battle had Bonos had the actual forces he, he thought he had um they didn't abandon him but that's not what happened uh maybe the um the holy court decided that 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 wasn't the play for him uh so they just didn't help him out but um yeah that that battle's important um the muslims didn't have control of antioch um or antioch and this will lead us right into the first crusades which happens in 1098 um and so i will cover that right after this this video i i i have like time before i have to go to work so i will cover that right after this video um the the importance of antioch uh and how those things transpired and how the first crusade started which yeah cool i saw that